Hi everyone, it's Chenzo from Reality Art Pod here to talk about the first two episodes of the challenge All Stars 4. This is the first season of All Stars that I'll be covering, and I love All Stars not just for the stacked nostalgic cast, but the music is bussin. Before I dive in, I encourage you to check out my cast assessment video. If you like the content, consider subscribing, but let's dive into it with episode one titled A Sky Full of Stars. Within the first 10 seconds, we get a shot of a flip phone, we're so back, with opening titles giving everyone nicknames that succinctly explain the most important relationships, most notably Leroy and Cam as the power couple. Nicole and Laurel as the awkward exes, and Veronica, Rachel, and Tina as the besties. The players meet in a vineyard, and TJ shows up on a bike, a rare thrill these days as TJ has lately been on his James Bond jush. TJ first welcomes Leroy and Cam and congratulates them on their baby Kingston. Leroy gives an official statement from Kingston. Where my mom at? Where them titties at? <laughs> Not the titties! <laughs> And it's Tony time, baby. He's still engaged and wants to win and spend the money to fund his wedding. True OG is in Kifla, who's one of the winners of season one, and Flora, who's 51, funny and silly. Beginning a new chapter for Nicole and Laurel, who are exes, and Laurel proclaims she wants to put it in the past. Rachel is finally back with a great attitude. I come to play and I demand respect. And Kara is back, losing her on-again, off-again Boston accent. Derek says he has a lot of friends, and Flora must have had a Wendy's chicken sandwich. I already shit myself three times. Unfortunately, TJ says it's going to be an individual game and one person will win $250,000, which we all know I hate and think is super cheap. They move into their house in Cape Town, South Africa that has a swing and a water slide. They cheers and Steve has an important question for Jay. How's your, uh, how's your gag reflex? Jay is painted out to be slept on because everyone thinks he's a layup because he can't eat gross things. Old friends Rachel, Veronica, and Tina reunite. Ayana's back and she's obviously gone through a big transformation from last time. She tries to make quick friends with Cam, telling Cam she believes in her and Cam tells us she's a new mom and she's pumping while she's there. She's unsure of her physical ability right now. Tyree has dropped the E in his name and Steve says hand modeling has been slow. He hopes to get more hand jobs after the show. Adam is excited to start a new chapter, being more mature. Janelle and Nicole bond over being first responders and Janelle expresses animosity against Ayana. Nicole and Laurel are exes on bad terms. Are you and Nicole cool? I would say no is the answer to that, no. Laurel hates my guts because she's secretly so in love with me. They go to their daily challenge. TJ tries to catch an apple. How about them apples? and tells them in order to qualify for the final, they need to earn a star. In the daily challenge, the top three men and women will become star holders. In the challenge, they each have a lane with eight boxes. They have to run back and forth to get star puzzle pieces that each fit in one of the eight boxes and then raise their flag in the end. TJ tells them they definitely don't want to be in the bottom four. So the challenge starts chaotically. Some of them are crushing it, especially Kara, but some are struggling like Jay, Tyree, Jasmine, who's passed out in the shade, and Tina, who says she's taking in the scenery. Kara bodies this and comes in first place overall as they play You Oughta Know and update her stats in live time. The top three women are Kara, Avery, and Rachel, and the top three men are Brad, Adam, and Brandon. Keepla gets emotional when he completes it and says he's doing it for people who feel like they can't. Tony pulls the wrong flag in the end, which irritates TJ to no end. Tony, just a reminder, your name is Tony. Not Veronica. My bad, Teej. Afterwards, TJ tells Brad and Kara they're the winners and have the only stars that are safe and can be stolen. He says it's immense elimination this week and the middle group have to pick two men out of the bottom four, Leroy, Derek, Tyree, and Steve, to go into elimination. They start campaigning, which sends Leroy and Cam into overdrive. I took my ass all the way to Africa. I gotta make it count. Cam advocates for Leroy in the middle group, which pretty much saves Leroy. Ryan advocates for Derek because that's his bestie. It's decided that Tyree and Steve are going into elimination. As they get ready, Tyree says he doesn't have the best record in eliminations. He actually has one of the worst records in eliminations in challenge history. TJ tells them that if you win an elimination, you can steal a star and the winners can also throw themselves in to steal a star that they can also give away to an ally. The elimination is called Catch a Falling Star. They have to search for balls in a mud pit with stars on them and collect 12 stars. This mud pit is somehow really visually appealing. They start and Tyree is quickly bodying Steve, but Steve is hoarding balls which helps him to catch up as Tyree is becoming pretty ineffective and slow. Steve ends up finding the last ball and winning the elimination. After his win, Steve has to steal a star. If he steals a star from a man, he can keep it, and if it's a woman, he has to give it to another woman. He steals Brandon's star. And we have to say goodbye to Tyree who lost the elimination here. He's proven over time to be a pretty ineffective challenger, adding yet another loss to his stats. 
He's bad in a way that's not even funny, like you're left feeling pretty bad for him. He just can't catch a break and he did have a lot of friends in the house, but they were all also in the bottom so nobody could advocate for him in the vote. TJ tells him that he hopes to see him again and I would like to see Tyree have some kind of small win eventually that could justify his return to the show and vindicate him. It would be cool to see Tyree win an elimination. Moving on to episode 2 titled You Won't Break My Soul, an unusually current episode title for All Stars. They get back to the house celebrating Steve's win. Laurel and Nicole have an awkward interaction in the kitchen in the morning. They have a pool party as S Club party plays and Cam gets stuck on the slide. Tina gets emotional in the confessional, excited to be with her friends. They have a tight alliance and Rachel wants to help get her girls a star. She'd be happy to take a star away from Avery. Avery is starting to feel like she's going to be targeted because she's a smaller girl. Jasmine tells Cam that Ayana was getting into fights on All Stars 2. Cam already doesn't like Ayana and is stirring the pot against her. Their daily challenge sees a van suspended in the air. Leroy flashbacks to a similar challenge where he died. TJ pulls up in a Winnebago, which excites the road rulers. In the challenge, they'll be in teams in the van, which is spinning in the air, listening to clues on the radio that will help them get puzzle pieces out of their luggage. At its heart, this is completely a big brothery puzzle challenge. Team 1 are Janelle, Jasmine, Ryan, and Derek. They have fun in the van. Are we there yet? Are I told y'all to use the bathroom before we left. I'm not touching you. Stop it, you I'm two. Not they start rocky, but Janelle helps them to pull it together. Team 2, Ayana, Flora, Kifla, and Rachel body this challenge, and Ayana's celebration further annoys the other women. Team 3 sees Kara, Ace, Avery, and Brad, who kind of suck at math, and Laurel heckles Kara from the sidelines. They breeze through a few teams, scored by life is a highway, with some highlights being Leroy crushing some math and Tina getting a little frustrated about the puzzle. Laurel and Nicole are in a team together with Jay and Tony. This team has great communication, and their team team ends up winning the challenge. In the interview after, Nicole and Laurel have beef. Laurel and Nicole, you guys work well together today. Uh, we avoided no. each other at all costs. Yeah. I never together. wish harm to you. I the don't want to hear it. Not the, rest of the, game. the bottom women who are eligible for elimination are Tina, Jasmine, and Janelle. The middles will be picking which of them go into elimination. Back at the house, Janelle campaigns to go into elimination. Janelle says she doesn't care if she goes against Jasmine or Tina. Then they head to the club. The winning team celebrate, but Laurel is still being standoffish with Nicole. Cam encourages Laurel to go against Nicole in elimination since they can both volunteer. Ayana is feeling messy, so she tells some of the others that Janelle wants to go against Jasmine in elimination, and Laurel tells Janelle that Ayana called her an opportunist. Jasmine then confronts Janelle, who's completely in the right and stands up for herself. Everyone agrees that Janelle is telling the truth. I think it's obvious to everyone that Ayana is starting trouble, but this really is getting to Janelle. And an absolute banger, Rumors by Lindsay Lohan further scores Ayana and Janelle's beef. The next day, Tina basically threatens Avery, saying if she votes for Tina, then she's against her. Tina then presses Janelle, trying to get her to say Jasmine's name. Tina is just trying to game her way out of going into elimination, but Janelle can't handle it. She breaks down, saying that she'd rather go home than deal with this. Ayana walks in and further chimes in, trying to bury Janelle. As Janelle is crying, Ayana shakes her booty in celebration. In the voting, Avery ends up voting for Tina, saying she doesn't want to be bullied. Ayana then makes a speech full of riddles. Consider me the grocery store. You're gonna eat good, but you're gonna pay for it. If you're gonna step into this field, step on the mine, you're gonna poke the bear, you better, you better be straight. Do I need to hit this? This is so ironic. Yo, what the fuck are you doing? Then she votes for Jasmine, which confuses the group, especially Leroy, who's so annoyed he storms off. So Janelle and Tina are nominated, and Janelle tells Cam and Leroy that she's over the game, so she's leaving. She packs her stuff and quits the game. So we have to say goodbye to Janelle here. In my cast assessment, I said that I didn't really feel like she had the heart for the game, and questioned her commitment, especially given that she's threatened to quit the show before. She's a great competitor, she did well in the first episode, and in this episode she held it down for her team. So she loses the challenge, she volunteers to go into elimination. Ayana lies and tells people that Janelle wants to go against Jasmine, which was a game move from Ayana, and everyone believed Janelle. Janelle was in the right and could have just played the long game and done the elimination, because the inevitable downfall of Ayana is coming. Long story short, I don't think Janelle wanted to be there in the first place. Ayana gets under her skin. She's also not innocent because she was talking crap about Ayana in episode 1. Janelle should have known what she was getting herself into after being on multiple seasons of the challenge. Come on now. After Janelle's departure, Ayana says Janelle leaving is a disrespect to everyone who wanted to be there. Enjoy your flight. 
Laurel and Nicole finally talk and Laurel asks Nicole to own what she did to her when they dated. Nicole just storms away. They head to their elimination. TJ calls down Tina and tells Laurel and Nicole that the elimination is called Cheat Codes, where they have to memorize cheat codes on a screen and then recreate it on a controller. They both decline to go against Tina, so Tina gets a win and gets to steal a star, so she snatches Avery's star, fulfilling on her threat from earlier in the day, which was probably for the best for Avery's game anyway. And that ends the episode. This was a pretty strong two-episode block. I was thoroughly entertained. We have some season-wide storylines that are simmering. I don't think she'll be around for a while, but Ayana is causing some really fun drama. Ayana is causing trouble. She's committed to making good TV. I like the idea of earning your way to a final and earning your star. It gets kind of weak saucy when you can win a star and give it away. To an extent, I think having a star is pretty irrelevant until maybe the episode before the finale. That's all I have to say about these two episodes. Let me know in the comments what did you think. If you like the video, give me a like and subscribe so you don't miss next week's. I'll be back next Wednesday to talk about more Challenge All-Stars. Until next time, have a nice weekend. Bye!